In this video, we're going to look at a couple more related rate examples. Air is being pumped into a spherical balloon at a rate of 5 cubic centimeters per minute. Determine the rate at which the radius of the balloon is increasing when the diameter of the balloon is 20. All right, so let's set this up with our, our dreads. Uh, first, the D. Uh, easy enough picture in this case. It's just a sphere, right? Um, you know, we get the rays at some point here, R, like that. The rates. Well, the rate that we know, sometimes it's helpful to look at uh, units. You know, we, we say it's being pumped in, and maybe that's a clue that it's volume, but I think the biggest clue is that it's in, uh, the, the rate we've been given is cubic centimeters. So I know that the change in volume with respect to time is 5. And it's sometimes helpful to put the units in there as well. We're looking for how the radius is changing. So we're looking for dr dt. Okay. The equation. Well, the equation that relates all these things together, we've got volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. There's our volume of a sphere. So we take the derivative. Well, the derivative of volume with respect to time equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. And the last thing we do is substitute and solve. So I know dv dt is 5. Now they've told me that the diameter is 20. Uh, that just means, of course, that the radius is 10. So I'll plug that in for r, so 10 squared dr dt. So if I can just kind of finish solving up here, I end up with 5 equals 400 pi dr dt. I divide both sides, of course, by 400 pi. and I get 1 over 80 pi and our units would be centimeters per minute. And there it is. Easy enough. Let's do another. In this example, a 15-foot ladder is resting against a wall. The bottom is initially 10 feet from the wall and is being pushed towards the wall at a rate of 0.5 feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder moving up the wall 12 seconds after we start pushing? Okay, so let's draw a picture. Yeah, draw the ladder. Now, I don't usually like to mark in much in my picture, but it is easy in this case to mark in things that we say are static or unchanging. This is a 15-foot ladder, and that is not changing. Okay, let me just do some a little bit of labeling. I'm going to call this X and this Y. Okay. All right, the rates. Well, the rate that I know is dx dt because this thing is being pushed towards the wall. Now, what's a little bit tricky here, maybe, is as this thing is being pushed in, the length of X is decreasing. Therefore, dx dt is negative 0.5 feet per second. Okay, so we've got to be careful with that. We want to make sure that we see that it's negative. Now we're looking how fast it's, the ladder is moving up. We're looking for dy dt. And I should just mention this, you know, if you said, well, I'm going to name this length z. If you wanted to say that dz dt was zero, you certainly could because the length of the ladder, as I said, is not changing. All right, the equation that relates all this together is, of course, Pythagorean theorem. So we take the derivative with respect to t. Yeah. One thing I want to point out here is I could divide out a 2 
and maybe simplify my algebra a little bit in the next step. All right, substitute and solve. Well, we've got a little work to do here because uh, we don't know much. You know, we know that uh, d x dt is negative 0.5. Uh, we're looking for dy dt, and we know dz dt is 0, so this whole side is 0. So we know that, but we're missing x and y. So we've got to go back up to the problem, do a little bit of reading here. Uh, we started off, the bottom was 10 feet away, and we're pushing it 0.5 feet per second for 12 seconds. Well, of course, 12 seconds times 0.5 feet per second means it's moved 6 feet. So it started at 10, and we pushed it in 6 feet. That means that x has a length of 4. Well, then we can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what y is because we know that this didn't change. So y squared would be equal to 15 squared minus 4 squared. Well, that means that y squared is equal to 225 minus 16. So y is the square root of 209, like that. So let me kind of go up here to finish solving it. Of course, this is negative 2. So I have negative 2 plus the square root of 209 dy dt equals 0. I could add 2 to both sides and divide by the square root of 209. And I have dy dt is equal to 2 over the square root of 209. And the unit would be feet per second.